If anyone was wondering, my hovercraft injury is recovering nicely. This bruise got pretty bad for a minute there and it was getting real red and swollen, but it's good. I survived a hovercraft crash with a decent sized leg injury. So, you know, I feel on top of the world, but I appreciate the concern to those who emailed me. Let's get to the video. All right, guys, well, we are back from Bristol and usually after a big event, everything is a disaster. So I wanted to do a quick shop update and get you guys up speed on what's coming up because we have a couple big drag races coming up. We've got FL2K, which is a month away. And then we have World Cup. We have the Christmas tree drags, December 22nd. And then there's a couple races in between that we'll be hitting. So we got to get everything back up and going. We'll start with the Turbo F150. This thing's actually good and running, but we're getting that bigger turbo put on. So Ty's doing that. This is also getting a new battery too because it has that stupid golf cart battery. Ariel Adams, good. Leroy Jr. is good. This gets picked up in about two weeks. Neighbor is good. No Great. issues out of this unit. Do we have anything to do besides a bumper? Just put a controller on power steering. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need a speed controller for the electric power steering. But other than that, this is done. Oh, it needs a throttle cable. But yes. I am really happy. You guys did a great job on Neighbor. That sucker's out. Most important car probably to talk about as we get back into drag racing season is our boy, Mullet. So Mullet has been down for probably two months now, ever since the sick summer deal <laughs> when we hurt the thrust bearing. Sent the motor out to Steve Morris, that's now fixed. We sent the transmission out to M&M, that's now fixed. We're having the converter lockup issues. And then we sent the turbos out to Precision to get refurbished. So it should be 100%. You see that double M on there, you know it means business. I guess there was a rough spot on the input shaft for the torque converter. And that's what kept wiping out that O-ring. Yeah, which seals in the converter for your lockup. Yeah, and that's why we're losing the lockup. Which is never good, dude, because that lockup is like hitting overdrive. Dude, gotta have lockup. Shoo, there she is, new. Brand all new, son. All cleaned up, ready to go. Yeehaw. Oh, you got there. What's that piece? Open that back up. There. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, it's one of their funnel kits. Oh, nice. All right, cool. Very nice. And then our table over here, that's our. Yeah. Steve Morris. Any box SMX sits here too long, it becomes a yeah, storage unit. covered and stuff. For FL2K, we got bumped out of the streetcar class, and so now we're going to be oh, in really? Extreme 28s, which is, <laughs> that one actually just has more money to win, and you can only run one class. Last year, we won both classes. Now there's a rule against running both, so we're going to join the class that has a bigger prize. So Mullet can stay the same for that. Now for World Cup, we got knocked out of the Warriors versus Trace Quattro's class, which I really loved because it was so fun racing all the rotaries. They bumped us out of that class to the faster class, and now we're with cars that run like 580s and 590s. That sucks. Just like a uh, weight loss challenge, this thing's got to go on a weight loss challenge yeah. too. That's going to be really a, the only thing we can do. We have a great powerhouse, so we're going to try and ditch some weight. Is there any option to pull some weight out of this thing? There is a lot of weight that can come out of it, but for it to come out and our percentages to be right, I'm pretty sure we have to slide the motor back, which is a really weird problem to have because most cars terrible. you want to slide it forward. So the challenge is pulling a lot of weight out of the front. It's not yeah. so much the back. I can cut like hundreds of pounds out. Yeah, because you already pulled the yeah. back apart to yeah. try and the get to. The tailgate alone is probably 80 pounds in this the, thing. The tailgate is that heavy? It's heavy, dude. Oh, crap. And it's full. I thought it was gutted this whole time. Oh, it's the complete. tailgate's full of stuff. <laughs> it's a real tailgate so still. So we could also cut the bed out. Yeah. Because we don't actually use it. Yeah. And then we have that huge fuel cell, which we don't need for World Cup because we'll just run methanol the whole time. Yeah. Let's talk about what the easiest things are. <laughs> easiest thing is going to be glass. That's okay. the quickest, easiest Glass. Thing. So, yeah, we don't have to have glass shield. for the classes we're yeah. going to be running. We could leave glass windshield just for ease of cleaning and keeping up with it. But, like, that rear window is probably really heavy. The side windows okay. are definitely so heavy. You're thinking the maybe go heavy. Lexan for the, the oh, doors right. in the back window. I would like to leave the engine where it's at. That sounds like a project and a half. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, think about just getting <laughs> new drive shafts alone is pretty penny. Yeah, you know? so, so maybe we just look at, can we take the radiator out and can we take out enough weight in the back to equalize that? Yeah. 
and then we just go like that and from and then, there we just turn up the boost if you <laughs> really want to, to do. we could do a one piece front end on this thing and we cut a lot of weight and yeah. these things are pretty rough anyways so yeah they are they're it's really up to big. you we got some big dents over here option. i don't know if i can get a one piece front end in time we'll see how much it weighs too do you think we can get a this, front end that quick we probably can question the uh depend on if someone if someone has one ready to go yeah. there's two companies on the other side of the state on the other coast that do yeah this stuff so they might have one because it's a it's a common chassis it's a g-body mm -hmm. so okay. there's a lot of g-body i can call around these front grills call. are like quarter inch thick really really heavy fiberglass like yeah. old school heavy stuff well that'd be nice if we could dish some weight i'm all for it but other than that, we have everything to go back together. So, Zach, you're going to start working on piecing it back together? Yep. I'm going to let Ty start cutting some things first, and then we'll get it all painted up and thrown back together. All right. Yeah, it is looking rough. I mean, we got <laughs> dents on fenders on both sides <laughs> from bumper speed. Maybe doing a front end would just kind of fix a lot of that up. Yeah. But that's a project. That, eh, a couple-day project. Yeah. Not the front end's year. not a small task. Yeah, we could get it painted. All right. Over here, Mystery Machine, that's a secret project. Toast, 100% good to go. I mean, how many events can this thing do? I mean, it's killing it. Oil, maintenance is key. It's killing it. James, let's go over to the storage shop and we'll see what else we got on the list. Yeah. All right, Twisted T, no more. That engine's coming out. You can see it's already almost ready to be pulled out. Yeah, it's time for a new uh, shell Something, around that. He's, which uh, I think I know exactly what it needs to yeah, go in. I think I know too. I think it needs to go in that. So that's one problem solved right there. After uh, bending his fifth axle, he's done. Dude. <laughs> he's done, dude. <laughs> So in here, we got Leroy chilling. Leroy is okay to run FL2K as he sits, but we really want that engine from Pete soon. So yeah, it should be soon. We've been- If we get it before FL2K, we'll getting all the parts. have that thing in there. Yeah. If not, we definitely need a good day of testing before FL2K. Yeah. I think Pete does have all the parts, so we should be able to get it in. Donnie is okay. It has a hurt bearing. We probably need to pull the oil pan off and slide a bearing in it. And we need to put the power steering back on, or pulley back on. Oh, so yeah. We stole the power steering pulley for Which we Leroy Jr. We just got to put it on, and then I have a, a nice piece for it to change up the inside. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do that. So, Killa B is good to go. This just had a little issue before we left, and we need to tune it. We need to get it out on the burnout pad, yeah. read the EGTs, make sure it's 100% good We need good to get to the fueling right for this motor. This motor's a little bit different than the motor that came out of yeah. it, so the fueling's a little off. And it was we shooting wanna, a lot of fire. We don't want to risk uh, hurting the motor yeah. already. Mountain Dew boat, we're looking for an engine for that, which BRP just released that new 325 horse engine. So I might hit them up for one of those. The jet truck, the jet is getting serviced, need a new bearing. This jet boat, it was wrapped for a Red Bull commercial or Alpha Tori commercial. That's Chad's jet boat. It's uh, it's good to go. Dude, the big question is Ruby. Everyone's been wondering what the hell is gonna happen yeah, to this. Waiting for the museum to open up. And yeah <laughs> right uh it needs a motor and guess where its motor's coming from right there right there so, so yeah this ruby's waiting on this this is waiting on pete so this, hopefully this will be the most motor that this car's ever had because exactly. we've always ran uh texas speed resleeve stock block stuff in four there. bolt, four head, bolt yeah, head, yeah. you know so, half inch studded but four bolt head stuff so finally six bolt motor going in ruby when that she'll happens, be able to make a lot of power a rewire we never were at the limit of their back but we're going to find the limit of their back i think you're right power. yeah exactly so she should be back soon it's just kind of depending on the domino effect of leroy's new engine the blazer is good to go right now that will race at fl2k for sure the christmas tree race for sure and probably not rolled tough and then over in the dark corner we have mcflurry which is 100 percent good to go maybe we get this hood painted and a couple other things but yeah it's uh, dialed we need to steal the exhaust back from old georgie oh yeah. <laughs> yeah but and this is racing goes. world cup dude sitting, sitting ready yeah i got you into world cup in this so yeah we're gonna have to um weld the gate shut yeah we're gonna have to turn yeah, out the boost so we gotta do some testing with this it needs a new rear gear ratio probably sooner than later but mcflurry is racing world cup so that is very exciting yeah. it's gonna be sweet all right guys well hopefully that does it for everyone's update drag racing season is finally back upon us today's probably the first day it hasn't been 100 degrees in a while we got a lot of mosquitoes though from the storm yeah, which kind of sucks they're, <laughs> they're so bad so bad last night yeah we're uh finally getting that drag racing weather back fl 2 ks coming up i think we're gonna hit a streetcar takeover we've got world cup we've got the christmas tree drags we've got a bunch of great stuff coming up so stay tuned for all that that's it for now thanks for watching do it for dale we'll freaking see you later